Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? There is a British tourist <clears throat> who uh, went missing in the Israeli desert in Israel back on November 21st. And, uh, and authorities believe he may have been suffering from a very rare syndrome called Jerusalem Syndrome. Authorities said after they uh, discovering this makeshift chapel and a trail of Bible pages that he left behind as he went into the desert. Uh, Oliver McAfee, a 29-year-old um, dedicated Christian from Northern Ireland, vanished on November 21st while cycling through the Neve Desert in southern Israel. At the end of October, uh, Ali, as he's known, went on a cycling trip to Israel to explore and to visit the Holy Land. And you can read a Facebook page that created by his friends that were aimed at trying to find him. He intended to stay for five weeks and return at the beginning of December, but missed his return date. The so-called Jerusalem Syndrome manifests occasionally, well, actually very rarely, but has manifested in having religious delusions, including people believing that they are the next Messiah or a biblical figure or a prophet or merely headed to the holy place while leaving everyone else behind. Now, the condition is often triggered sometimes when people visit Jerusalem and can affect anyone, including those who have not shown any signs of mental illness before. Now, that's according to the Times of Israel. It normally ends once a person leaves the country. That has been the case. That has happened. It is very, very, very rare. In this case, though, we may have uh, more uh, medical diagnosis here and generally uh, needs to be Address, but the condition is often triggered for some people with a visit to Jerusalem and can affect anyone, including those who've never been there before. Authorities initially pres presumed that McAfee simply just got lost on the trail as most of his items, including his bike and his laptop, were found along the trail by his friends. But following the search and rescue operation that found a trail of pages, from the Bible, laying in the sand, weighed down with stones. Authorities now believe that the British man may have been suffering from the so-called Jerusalem syndrome and went into the desert intentionally, according to the UK's Daily Telegraph, as well as pages of the Bible, handwritten scriptures and references to the biblical stories like Jesus fasting in the desert were also found that he had written. The search teams also discovered that they believe was an improvised chapel, allegedly made by McAfee, featuring a circular clearing in the sand and flattened by a bicycle tool. Now, one of the leaders of the volunteer search team told the uh, newspapers there, he seems to have been doing all kinds of ceremonies that we don't even really understand. A former psychiatrist and expert on the Jerusalem syndrome, Dr. Moses Kalin, said that according to the news, it appears that McAfee is indeed involved in some kind of religious experience in the desert, and it does resemble the Jerusalem syndrome. All right, so pray for this young man. He's only 29 years old, and no doubt he loves the Lord, and no doubt he has a devout, uh, was seeking, uh, you know, spiritual uh, walk with Christ and was, and was looking for a, a deeper understanding of his faith in the Lord, but um, maybe suffering from some type of, and who knows, he gets out in the desert and the sun and the heat, uh, but this is, does happen. It is a very rare thing, but it has happened before and it is known as the Jerusalem Syndrome. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. He's going to be fine. They found him. He's back 
home in the United Kingdom now and receiving treatment. We'll be back with more in just a moment. 